This is Sean with Gate City. Today I want to talk to you all about filters for your effluent on your septic tank. So this is an effluent filter that fits into the baffle on the baffle side of your septic tank on the outlet side. And I have one here that's installed. So a baffle is essentially just a sanitary tee. And if, if the water's going this way, what happens here is you have this short nipple that hangs down into the clear side the clear section of water and that keeps all the scum from going into the leach field. And so that system works pretty well having that clear layer in the septic tank, but having a effluent filter is even better. And so I want to talk to you all today about that. So this is a filter that is sold by Zoller and these are the ones that we use. They have this little tang here that fits into the sanitary tea and then the filter itself pulls out and then you can hose this off and this will stay in the sanitary tea. This is really important because this is the filter that's going to be protecting your leach field. And the most expensive part of the septic system is the leach field. It's the biggest, it covers the most surface area. And crucially, the leach field can't have any solids in it because the bacteria that break down the waste, they don't break down solids. And if you let solids get into, get out of your septic tank and into your leach field, whether they are solids from the bottom or solids from the top, doesn't matter, they will clog up the soil and basically destroy your leach field. So this is critically important. It's just like any other filter. Think of your favorite filter. It needs to be cleaned. It needs to be changed. And not having a filter is even worse because then you let whatever may go into your leach field it just goes right in there. And so most of our leach field repairs are due to this piece right here. Either the baffle failing, or they have an old concrete baffle that has broken, or for whatever reason, solids have gotten through the baffle and into the leach field. So let's take a look at what this looks like, this system looks like in the field. This is Sean, we're out here today doing some maintenance on a septic tank. And so I wanted to bring you all along. So we've got our septic tank is right here. And this is our inlet side. This is our outlet. Both have risers. We installed these risers. And so what we're going to do today is pop the top here and clean out the effluent filter. And so this is one of those deals where the septic tank can often be out of sight, out of mind. But you really want to make sure and maintain it. Go ahead. Okay, let me see if I can get you in there. Alright. Oh, wow. You see all that crap coming out of there? Mm -hmm. Caught in there? Wow. Okay, let me get a close up of that before you. So, take a look at this. This is all the material that made it through that baffle. And so, this is what will destroy your septic leach field. That's why it's so, so important to get back, get out here and do this once in a while. So we've got our garden hose hooked up. So this is all organic material. Yeah. Catching up in there. Yep. So now I understand the importance of having one of these things on here. Yeah. Uh, makes sense. That will destroy your leaf field. All those little particles. How often should we be doing this? Every few months, depending on how much you use, you know. Having that riser is critical. It's like the it's like the hood of your truck. Right. Would you bury the hood of your truck under two feet of dirt and make it hard to access and maintain? No. No. So that's why we put risers on our system so you can access this thing and maintain it. A septic system is like any other thing, it's a system that needs maintenance.
see if you can get some of that crud out of that baffle too before you put that back in. Okay. What's that been? Probably four or five months since we done this, put this in? At least. Four, maybe six months? Yeah, maybe six months. Just throw, yeah, throw it on the, that looks like, uh, it looks like vegetable matter. Yeah. What it looks like. Oh. Pull that sleeve up on this one. <laughs> Thank you, boss. Thank you. Good enough. not good. Don't spray it too much. I wouldn't spray it. You don't want to disrupt. The reason we don't spray in this one is we don't want to disrupt the the water here. Okay. So the septic tank goes to great lengths to separate out the scum on the surface and the solids on the bottom and leave that clear layer to be the only layer that's going out to the field. So we don't want to spray a hose in here. You'd never want to do that. All right, our filter's clean. And I, are there some instructions on here somewhere? Or not, it just goes not in and I've clicks. Seen. No, it just goes in and turns clockwise yeah. to lock in the counter. I think this side goes toward the field. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna put that back in there and that's it. I think it just pushes in there, it doesn't even turn. There you go. Okay, so now we're gonna put our top on and we're done. And now it's gonna greatly, greatly increase the lifespan of our septic leach field. Try to line the holes back up, but. Right there is a lot easier than to get the plumber out in the middle of the night. Yep. For sure. And it's a lot cheaper than having to replace the, the leach field. Yeah. That is nice. I'm sure glad you put these rods on here. I know. These covers. That yeah. Now. We didn't have to dig. Yeah. A few five sixteen screws, we're in. And that's anything any homeowner can do that. Three. Every every six months or or so. You probably caught that we put the tab facing the wrong way. And so that is supposed to lock into the sanitary T so it would go in like this and it pops in there um, I don't know if you can see inside of there but there's the tab right up in up in there right right there's the tab so we put that in backwards so I'll go back out there and fix it but the point is this is a very 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 important piece of your septic system and maintaining it cleaning it up the other nice thing, you can you can install these in your baffle and then bury your, your lid, but like I was saying to Ronald, it's almost like the hood of your car. You wouldn't you, you need to be able to access this. So putting a riser on your tank is it makes it really easy to access and maintain your your system, your tank and your system. So the next time you get your septic tank pumped out, which should be every three to five years, when the when the septic pump guy has the hole open, have a septic installer or somebody come in there and install a riser for you and that way you can pop the top and access this filter and greatly prolong the life of your tank and field. The other thing I wanted to mention was spraying the hose inside there and so you'll see a lot of videos where people pull these out and they just spray them down inside the tank. You would never want to do that because one of the main functions of a septic tank is to stagnate the water 
when the water stagnates, the solids fall out, the scum floats to the top, and so you just would not want to agitate that system by spraying a garden hose in it, unless you're pumping it. So, let me, let me know what you all think of this little video. Alright, get your septic tank pumped, and thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short educational video on maintaining your septic system, and let me know if you'd like to see a video on us installing a riser. Thanks for watching.